Swinburne University of Technology. Robotics and mechatronics is a mixture of mechanical and electrical engineering. We focus on um, robotic systems, so um, very similar to movies like Real Steel, um, creating all these cool little robots. The students that do this course have hands-on experience in programming. They also do circuits design and design robotic systems. Robotics and mechatronics is um, one of those courses that's really emerging in industry. Like at first everyone was either a mechanical or an electrical engineer. Now the needs are quite a lot more specific. We've got robotic production lines for almost every company. Robotics you'll find gives you a lot more opportunities in industry. Swinburne's always prided itself on having an engineering degree that is actually industrially relevant. We don't just teach them engineering science and hope that they somehow pick up the discipline and wisdom of being an engineer. We actually give them challenges that allow them to have those experiences that help develop that so that throughout their careers they're the best engineers they can be. So the competition is about building an autonomous vehicle. The theme is search and rescue, so the robot's got to drive around and find a, a person, a victim of something, and then rescue them. So it's got to take them back and drop them off at a helipad. The challenge was quite difficult. The, the course was quite tricky, a bit of a maze. Our robot did everything. It did it really quick, didn't make any mistakes. In the end, our, our robot came out and got first place. I've always been interested in engineering. And um, a lot of my friends have, you know, dads and relatives in industry and whenever I asked them what university they recommended, they all said Swinburne. I think the employers really prefer Swinburne students because of their hands-on experience because they know that when we turn up, we've got a good idea of how things work, not just the, the theory behind it, but how to put it into practice. One of the major uh, benefits for Swinburne students is the opportunity to do IBL. IBL uh, stands for Industry-Based Learning. Industry-Based Learning allows you to go into the industry for six months to a year during your degree. The benefits of doing ABL is it allows you to relate what you've learnt in class to the industry. After doing it, I was a lot better organised, a lot better at presenting, uh, a lot better at report writing, communication, all those, I guess, generic engineering skills, um, I improved on those significantly. And that's a real advantage when you're out there looking for a job to say, you know, I have done this, I have got experience. Looks really good on your resume and a lot of people get jobs out of it. All of my lectures are really good, they are very friendly and helpful. They've just been incredibly inspirational. We've had some great units um, that have just really fired us up <laughs> to do um, you know, engineering stuff, to really do our best at these, these subjects and at these projects. We're going to do our best to make sure that you're not just a person with knowledge in your head, but you're a person who knows how to think like an engineer, you have the wisdom of an engineer, the discipline of an engineer, and you're going to continually become a better engineer throughout your career. Swinburne's degree is very inspiring. The teachers are very linked with industry uh, and very motivating. It's definitely a good place to learn and a good place to prepare yourself for the future. This has been a Swinburne production.